everybody, how you doing? Justin the Red Island Shaver here with you today. And we're going to do a, maybe a short little video, maybe a medium length video, I don't know. So um, I have to go to a banquet today for work. So I figured I might have a nice shave before going to do that. And I've been trying to think about <clears throat> what I was going to do for today's video. I'm waiting on a new soap to show up and uh, some samples for some new content. And then it hit me while I was driving around yesterday. Um, uh, there was a thread on the Canadian Wet Shavers group about um, what got you into wet shaving. So today I'll talk a little bit about that and we're going to use um, the products that I actually did my first ever DE shave with. So why not, right? Might as well make it a little bit interesting. So without further ado, get the water out of the scuttle. So the brush we're going to use is this just little... Omega Knot. I bought this at Chopper's Drug Mart. I did have the Wilkeson Sword Synthetic Brush. Um, it's not a very good brush. Uh, I, I kind of started with that. Um, the wet shaving I started with, uh, I think it was Mug Soap. And the Synthetic Brush for a couple shaves um, when I was using the cart while I was waiting uh, for my safety razor. Uh, the safety razor for today will be the Parker 99R. This is a heavyweight barber pole handle. I don't use this razor an awful lot. Maybe I should use it more. It actually is a good razor. I, I do like it. Just I have so much other stuff now like everybody else, right? Um, cream, E-Shave, Orange Sandalwood. That was piffed to me by Jonathan uh, Steinfeld. Thank you so much for that, brother. I appreciate it. And then the aftershave will be E-Shave Verbena Lime. So, without further ado... We will start building up a lather here. So, like the other video, there's a little insert that sits on top of the cream. And, I mean, there's a bunch of cream sitting on it, right? So we'll just scoop some off of that. No sense dipping into the tub until I absolutely have to. All right, waste not, want not. Grab my towel. Got my purple towel here. The, the nickname I have, um, for those that don't know me from the Canadian Wet Shavers group, uh, the guys kind of jokingly call me the Lather King because uh, I have the ability to lather anything, including mustard, right? <laughs> so <clears throat> that's my uh, unofficial Lather King royal purple towel. So anyway, we'll get this building up in the bowl here. So what started you guys into wet shaving? I'll tell you what got me into wet shaving. Um, I used to be a long haul truck driver. And, uh, you know, that's not really a trade where you have to be clean shaven every day, right? And I didn't shave every day. I might have shaved once a week, maybe. Because, like many of us, the cartridge razors were horrible. Uh, major irritation. They would just tear my face to pieces. And, of course, knowing now what I didn't know then... You know, the importance of mapping your, your beard grain. Well, I, most people probably don't do that when you're using your cartridge razor, right? You just smear on some canned goo. You grab your ridiculously overpriced cartridge razor. And then you just start, you know, hacking your face to pieces, right? So, I, I was watching TV one night and I seen an ad for uh, the One Touch Micro with uh, Rick from Pawn Stars. Everybody's probably seen that commercial, that TTO razor. You know, cheap kind of piece of junk razor. Now, I seen that, and I was like, well, that looks pretty cheap. I started doing some research, and, uh, you know, lo and behold, I realized that, you know, people still shave with this kind of stuff, and there's online retailers. So, I did a bit more research. My birthday was coming up, and I asked my mother if she'd be interested in uh, looking at some links and getting me something like that for my birthday. So, anyway, I will wet the face and we'll continue talking while I lather up. Alright, so I'll get the lather built already. Creams, they lather up nice, quick and easy. That was one of the reasons I picked a cream right from the get-go. 
after doing a bit of research online and uh, so I want to start with something that was going to be easy to make a good lather right from the start kind of take a little bit of the uh, skill gap out of it I guess for lack of a better word so anyway uh, I got I decided on the Parker 99R it did have mixed reviews sometimes the blade gap on the earlier razors was kind of poor um, some people say it's too aggressive of a razor some people say it's a mild razor I think it's kind of middle of the road myself blade gap of mine is pretty even for the most part but so yeah so a couple months out from the birthday I knew this was coming so I started uh, ordering some stuff myself uh, the blade in here is a uh, <clears throat> Astra Superior Platinum or an Astra Green as it's known and this is the first shave on this blade so while I knew this razor was coming I started ordering some stuff so I went to fenderhin.com which is a retailer in Canada and I ordered a hundred pack of blades of Astra Green and I ordered a tub of Ishe for Bina Lime Cream because uh, citrus scents and lime scents uh, in general are my favorite scent profiles. I'm a big fan of citrus, big fan of lime. And the canned goo that I used was uh, the Gillette Foamy uh, Lemon Lime. Is it Lemon Lime? Yep, yeah, Lemon Lime. My son uses that. Tried to convert him, but with no avail. Alright, that's a good first pass. This razor, <laughs> I don't use it very often, but it's actually quite effective. I'll rinse off and lather up for number two. So yeah, so the big day came. I I had all my stuff set up, and uh, it was my birthday. I got my razor, and then that night I decided to do. I, my, I did my first official uh, safety razor shave, and you know, like many of you guys, it was uh, it was definitely interesting. Probably took about forty five minutes. I didn't cut myself. It wasn't the greatest shave in the world. I still wasn't, you know, a hundred percent on the whole, um, the whole um, uh, beard mapping, and I didn't quite know which way everything was growing, so I ended up doing just like in the standard north to south pass a couple times, but I didn't cut myself, and I was hooked. And I also, I also want to try and get into this to save money, right? You know, I, I was paying the ridiculous prices for the cartridge razors, same as everybody else. I mean, canned goo is not expensive, but but the cartridge razors are definitely pricey. And uh, so, yeah. I told my wife, oh yeah, I'll get into this and this will save some money, right? This will save some money. It'll definitely save some money. Yeah, no, no, we all know how that goes. Didn't save anything. If anything, I'm spending more now like everybody else, but that's fine. Because now, I actually enjoy shaving. I get a nice clean shave. Even if I don't go for a BBS, still get a nice presentable shave. There's no irritation. There's no redness. And it doesn't look like I tried to wrestle a bobcat in a shopping bag. So, 
I'll rinse off here and then we'll go for number three. And, and it's just, you know, it's the particip participation of everybody in the forums and on YouTube and like seeing all the videos that kind of got me think about this shave. And then thanks to that piff from Jonathan, uh, the owner of uh, Stonefield Shaving, that it really, you know, it enabled this to happen as well, this shave here today. Because I now have all the products that I had when I started. Uh, not the same sense, but all the same products. May add a little bit too much water to this cream, but... That's okay. So, what got you guys started into wet shaving? Sound off in the comments below, or... Uh, or I post this uh, these videos in a few groups. Uh, comment on the post. You know what got you guys going and all this. The, the 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 thing I like the most about the wet shaving, to be perfectly honest with you, has got nothing to do with the software. It's got nothing to do with the hardware. It's got everything to do with the people that you meet in the wet shaving community. That's where it's all at. It's uh, talking to you gentlemen and ladies in the shave groups. Interacting with people on a daily basis. You know, people that do the piffs, send stuff out for free. I just, uh, I just did a piff on the Canadian Wet Shavers group. I sent out a razor I wasn't really using, a couple soaps. You know, it's the, it's the stuff like that that makes the wet shaving community what it is. Is the, the generosity. And the camaraderie around, uh, around the whole hobby, right? That, that's the part I like the most, I think. The good shaves at the end of the day are just the icing on the cake. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to start doing YouTube videos too. Um, I learned a lot from some of the YouTubers, so uh, I'll rinse off here. Now let's go for a little bit of a clean up pass on the neck here. The razor and soap though, or cream are actually working quite well. Sometimes I get weepers on the neck with the uh, with the Parker. Like I said, it is a little bit aggressive, but today it's going perfect. But yeah, it's it's the YouTubers that really that really helped out in this. Like watching Geo Fat Boy, uh, Mantic Fifty Nine. Those are two of the big ones for me, and. Uh, and just learning from them, right? And that's one of the reasons I wanted to start doing YouTube videos. Just, you know, maybe I have some knowledge I can pass on. Maybe I can be a bit entertaining once in a while. And it's just nice to connect with other people from all over the world in this hobby that we're in, right? Beautiful. That was actually a really great shave. You know, with the high quality products, you know, have proper technique get a great shave right we're not going to get that with the cartridge razors there's no way in hell so i will uh, do my cold water rinse and then put on the witch hazel
Well, it's a beautifully smooth shave right there. That was uh, leaps and bounds from my very first ever DE shave with this particular razor. But so yeah, so yeah, like I said, sound off in the comments, guys. Let me know what got you into wet shaving, what you like most about wet shaving, what you like about the community. As I said, it's the camaraderie, it's the people that you meet. It's a great bunch of fellas, right? Um, that's all I can really say about it. It, it is, you know, we, we use the term brother. It, it is like a brotherhood or a sisterhood for our, our uh, female members out there. And uh, probably one of the most generous communities uh, that there is. The Northern Shaver actually reached out to me the other day and said he wanted to send me a couple soaps and a brush. And I was like, sure. Uh, I would gladly take that. Uh, I think the top on this bomb is plugged, so I'll just have to chin with the finger and grab some. And it should be enough. Oh, you too much. But yeah, it's it's been quite the journey. It's been almost four years now. And, uh, you know, I'm never looking back, obviously. I'm having too much fun. Way too much fun. And of course, I went down the rabbit hole of straight razor shaving. I said I never would when I started this. I was like, oh man, straight razors are way too dangerous. I'll hack myself to pieces. And then now I straight razor shave probably almost as much as DE, if not a little bit more. I'm working, uh, so I got a custom razor on the way, and then I have another one to send out to be turned into one. So, but anyway, guys. There you have it, uh, a little nostalgic shave with the products I used for my very first ever DE shave. Ended up with a perfect irritation-free BBS, unlike the first shave, which was kind of rough <laughs> in more ways than one. But I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, right? Our pursuit for a nice shave, nice comfortable shave, whether you go for a BBS or a damn fine shave or a close comfortable shave, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, as long as you're enjoying it and you're, you know, the quality of the shaves are, are good for you, then that's what it's all about. So sound off in the comments on the video or in the groups that this video gets posted in. Let me know what got you going down this uh, down this path or this rabbit hole and, and what you like the most about it. So that's all I have for today, guys. Uh, once again, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, my friends, have a great day and have an even better shave. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.